Hello guys, welcome to Tara Arts Movie Tutorial and as promised, I will teach you how to create a fire in hand videos like I did in my Adobe After Effects compilation part 2. Alright, so let's just get started. Uh, right click, uh, left click on the box right here and you're gonna open the flames. I will give the link in the description or, or you can uh, download it from destinationfilms.com alrighty now what we are going to do is import our footage so you you have to record yourself um, like just like me here as you can see and left click on your footage and you can drag it to this box right here or you can drag it to here and you come it will be the same all right so as you can see it is me you can set the resolution to half to make the uh, rendering or RAM preview, RAM preview here a little bit faster so we're gonna cut it through it there you can do this all you can or you can just click alt begin bracket and then whoop, there you go as you can see and then we're gonna take our fire to the composition and as you can see right here let's see the worst part when uh -huh. before that we're gonna get rid of the uh, black area of the fire so that seems to be pretty good so out begin bracket that's where the fire start yeah and to get rid of the black yeah make sure the fire is checked and you're gonna toggle switch to here until you find this normal and etc instead of this 3d etc toggle switch modes and then set from normal to lighten for the uh, right color or if you want to match it uh, with the camera like me here the camera is kind of bright so I wanna screen edit the screen alright so you can make it bigger the fire just like that pretty easy, pretty simple alright so we're just gonna look where I start the fire Oop, right there and there you go, so oof, oof, oh, let's see. oof, see, all right, so what are you going to do next is from the flames, you're gonna press P, and that brings up position, and then you're gonna set the keyframe here from the beginning of the fire, set the keyframe. And then make sure that the fire is at your hands. Then, yep, move on. Then, still place it to your hand. Just like that. That's it. That's all you gotta do to make the fire stays in your hand just like that all right so if we preview this video, you will see. There you go. Fire comes up. And then... Uh, uh, yes. Alright, that's quite pretty good. But, of course, fire is actually produce a light. So, to create a light that produces from a fire, you can actually go to the composition right from the your footage I mean you click that and you're gonna control D to 
duplicate it and you can turn off this sound and then you're gonna set this from normal to screen or lighten not lighten actually Ooh, sorry mess it up or add I'm just gonna take the screen here so this is the original footage this is the bright footage screen actually bright all right so this screen footage we are going to mask it all right so mask it just around the uh, fire and also the face so that it looks like it um, reflect the uh, light all right so i'm sorry for the bad english because i'm not actually a good speaker in english all right so from the uh second actually we're gonna rename it so uh light from flame maybe all right so go to mask mask and we're gonna set the feather just Ah, there you go. As you can see here, it's kind of bright. All right, so what you got to do next is uh, make sure the light from flame is uh, selected, and then you got to go to Evex color correction and levels because fire is actually kind of red. So you're gonna go to red and make this up a little bit, just a little bit, too much. As you can see, it's kind of red. So all right all right so the fire is start from about here so you can go 